Got a special guest today, so we're gonna see if David can start off my video if he remembers how they're done. <laughs> so, hi, David. You start the video. Hello, everybody. Hello, all you beautiful humans, you creatives, you artists, you others, you everybody. Us Cider in. House rules. That's not my <laughs> my channel, but okay. <laughs> Tell them why we're here. Uh, we are here because of the mid-year adult coloring review tag. It originated by Sassy Coloring, and I was tagged in videos from Grumble Bunny and Liz at Home, hours apart. It was awesome. Thank you, ladies, for letting me join in. Anyway, so yeah, we've got David. He did pretty good, I think. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I think he got most of it. <laughs> I do try. All right, so let's get to the questions. We've got... Ten, I believe. Yes, there are ten, and each one generally has like two or three questions in it. So, all right, so grab yourself a snack and relax, and we'll get to it. So, David, get us started. And if it's more than if it's more than one question to a question, please ask them in sections. And if you hear the banging around, the cat's really ticked off that I'm filming and moving around. So he's knocking into doors and stuff for fun. But let's go with the first question. All right, first question. Did you set yourself a coloring goal for the first half of the year? No. I would never set myself a goal. Everybody who sets goals, I think that's awesome if it makes you happy. But I am not setting any goals because this is my hobby. I do this for fun. I'm going to put a book out because you have nothing to look at but my cats. And they are lovely. But here's a book. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't do goals. Um... If I did goals, it would be something to stress me out. It would be something to make me think I need to do more work, which sounds to me a bit ridiculous since it's my fun stuff and I don't want it to look like work or feel like work. Or That's why I wouldn't do a video if I didn't want to. I wouldn't do coloring that I don't want to do. And uh, yeah, so no real goals other than to have fun and always, as always, definite goal. I do have a goal. Buy more books. Now David's over here just looking at me like horribly, but it's always buy more books. The museum needs to be larger. Oh, wait. We'll get to that part later. Anyway, is there more to that question? Oh, yes, there is. There is more to this okay. question. So the goal is buy more books and then... <laughs> oh, and supplies. Always buy pencils. If you count your pages, how many pages have you colored? This year? I, it's this year, because it's a mid-year adult coloring review tag. I'm, I'm going with this year. I'm assuming that, but I'm simply reading the question as presented. Okay, well, I read it and got myself prepped a little bit, because obviously I'm not going to try searching for information and be like, hold on and wander off and look. But I've done 193 pages as of last night for the year, because I do keep track in my journal. Yes, indeed. Okay, that, I did it. That was one I could do easy. The last part of the first question, how was the first half of the year coloring-wise? Same as it ever was? I colored. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I watched, like I said, I watched Liz. I watched Grumble Bunnies. I watched Emma's, Emma Colors last night. Um... I've seen them all. I don't remember this question. I, I, I listened to everybody's stuff. Yeah, I colored. It's the same as it always is. I colored and then some months I didn't and somehow I'm still alive. So I, I, I don't know. It's just coloring. I color some months and some months I don't. So it's about the same as usual. Show your favorite colored images from the first half of the year. That is easy. And I have the book right here because... I had enough caffeine where it made me a little crazy, but also made me put the books in order while David read me the questions. So, <laughs> I'm prepared for the first time ever. Uh, my favorite coloring pages for the year. I picked three. So we've got one in Alien Worlds by Kirby Rosans. And I don't know. I just love this page. That's right here. The light's not really giving me justice. We'll do a little flippy so you can see all the shiny bits. But it's um, it's all done with Derwent Inktense. 
and then a silver gel pen. And that's it. Yeah, that's all that's on this page. So, yeah, I like this one a lot. And I was super excited to do it when the book came in. And I did it immediately. And that's something that makes me really happy that the book isn't sitting on the shelf still. So I think that might be part of why it's a favorite. And I think that was David's favorite out of the three. But you'll have to tell me, David, when I show them all. And then this one isn't even... No one's seen this one yet. It'll be in my July finished pages. <laughs> but I'm still riding high off of this one. I don't know why. I loved it so much. I think it's because it's all dark and spooky. And I've got fluorescence all over it. And there's mushrooms. Those mushrooms are amazing. Look at them. So, favorite. And then my other favorite. And again, it's the same thing. Got the book. Started coloring in it immediately. But this one is one of my favorite marker pages because I feel like I'm finally understanding what I'm supposed to be doing with the markers. So that would be my three favorites from the year so far. David, did you have a favorite out of my three? The alien puppy. Okay. Did you have a favorite that I didn't pick? It, I, that's that's really putting you on the spot. That's hard. Yeah, I would I would have to go back through our texts for yeah, the last that's, six months that's too much <laughs> all right uh foreshadowing we'll just put out another book okay <laughs> <laughs> i just feel bad you're just staring like pretty much at a pink screen if the kittens moved it would be worth it but they don't move okay which is the book you have most what question is this number three we're on number three and he's already huffing at me so this should be real fun when we get to 10 okay i'm not huffing you, you totally huffed i heard it which is the book you have most colored in during the first half of the year? Oh, remember when I said foreshadowing? It's this one. I need to put this up against a real-sized coloring book because Chelsea from Chelsea's uh, Creative... Chelsea, honey, it's you just changed it not that long ago, and I can't remember. Chelsea, I will link her down below, bought it after she saw it on my channel and did not realize how tiny it was. I, I don't know if I have, like big hands or little hands or what made it look like it was bigger but that's the size of the book next to an eight and a half by eleven. <laughs> so I've colored the most in this very very tiny book and I'll flip through it while David talks to me so you can see what I've done what's the next part of the question that's it that one has that, one part that, that one has one part yes. okay the one where I have something to show uh-huh all right what's the next question I'll keep flipping while we wait all right <laughs> The next question, number four, which is the last book that you got and why? Now, there's a story behind this one. Yeah, I know. I'm still <laughs> showing my pages that I finished in my other book. See, I did a lot in here, folks. I think this is, might be the last one, though. Okay, so... I'm telling them. Just shh, We're looking at these. No. We're not discussing your 10 o'clock run to Walmart. <laughs> All right, so we went to Walmart yesterday, you know, for the regular things. David's off. We had stuff to do. Um, we needed yellow mustard was my reasoning, but it was really because this book came out, and I wanted to go see if it was at my Walmart, and it was, so I have it. This is a big boy. Look at that. It's thick. It's like almost 100 pages. Disney villains, color by number, and I wound up with this. And the really new Teresa Goodridge book. Let me go to the back so you can see more pictures. Um, and I got the new Teresa Goodridge book, which right now, I'm going to say Harvest something. I don't remember. It's autumn related. It's really cute. I got that. I got this. And I got a glow in the dark nightmare before Christmas coloring book. And then there was another one. And I put it back because I'm like, three is plenty for you to buy yourself at the Walmart when you came for like a dollar's worth of mustard. Um... Yeah, so I put it back, and isn't this adorable, though? But, um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, I put the one book back, and I left with these three books, and I was very thrilled, which, by the way, there'll be uh, flip-throughs on the channel soon, because I already have the videos made. But then, about 10 o'clock at night, I was filming these flip-throughs I'm talking about, and I was like, oh, I gotta flip through the other book that I, and I didn't buy it. I forgot I put it back, and then I got sad about it so i went downstairs to talk to david and was like could you please go get the horror movie coloring book and this man stopped he was making soup for me and brenna and he stopped doing it and went back to the walmart to pick this book up now it's probably because he really likes horror movies or maybe it's because he likes me but 
We don't know yet. Um, but yeah, he went back at 10 o'clock at night. I think it's mostly because I like you. I, you would say anything right now. but That is not true. <laughs> but we got this. Uh, if I didn't like you, you would not have had that book. 10 o'clock at night. I don't know. might have been uh -uh. shutting me up is how I got the book. But whatever. But it's the unofficial, unauthorized uh, coloring book for horror movies. It's got single-sided pages. There will be a flip. You'll see it. But they're single-sided pages, and they list the movie on the back of each page and it's like a simon and schuster imprint uh adams media that's who it is so yeah i have a flip through coming up on this and this was my less than 12 hours now a little over 12 hours ago newest coloring book and why was because i didn't bring it home with me the first time i was at the walmart <laughs> right that was it why and why yes yeah and plus it's a coloring book why ask why just be happy Okay, so I'll leave it out till the next thing happens. Um, but that was my last, my most recent purchase of a coloring book. And I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, literally 12 hours before this video is being yes, made. Yes, well, I mean, I'm shocked it wasn't like three hours ago. I haven't made an Amazon order since yesterday. Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> let's get off my back. Anybody else want to join my 12-step program? Let me know. We'll start our meeting soon. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's 12 steps to buy more stuff on Amazon. Don't tell them the thing I was trying to keep secret. That's Oops, the part. I said the quiet part. Yeah, <laughs> that was the quiet part. Don't, don't do that. Okay, what's next? Because you're mean now and I'm done with you. Number five. Did you discover any new artist or publishing companies that you like? Um, I discovered a lot of artists that I like. I mean, as far as like discover loosely, like I've seen videos of other people's flip throughs. Um, I can't grab spooky cause it's in the bottom of my hall pile, but Sarah, so chick, I think her name is. And I did a flip through of her book just a couple videos back. It's a spooky Chris or spooky Christmas cat, spooky witch cat book. And she has, like, an axolotl friend and, like, an owl friend. It's really cute. But it's just a couple videos back. That was a new artist that I really liked. I found her on um, Art Journey's... No. Not Art Journey's channel. Coming to me right now. But I just saw her recently on somebody's channel. And then the other one, and I do have books for this one, is I, I know Joshua Dunbar worked for Jade Summer... And I know he's been out for a while, but like I got obsessed with these cutie books. And I brought out my easy books too, um, just because I've been coloring in them a lot as well. And then he does like another fall and spring book. I forget what they're called. I'm the worst with words. But these books have absolutely, like I just think they're absolutely adorable. I haven't colored in easy summer yet. I pulled this out of my haul pile just to add it to my Joshua Dunbar books and then easy spring I have a monthly color along with Jamie's Disney Kingdom um so I've done a lot in here because of that yeah a lot there's like three but I only see two there's the other one that'll be in my finished pages for July and then the cuties books they're just well they're cute like and they're tiny see tiny so I really like those, but I got Christmas Island and Valentine's of these, which are the only ones that are. So Joshua Dunbar, if you're watching my channel, I know that's probably not a thing, but if you are watching, please make more of these. They're really cute and tiny and I love them. And I think a lot of other people do too. I know Emma had them in her list as well. So that's two of us that really want more books. So he needs to get on it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Josh. Let's go. Yeah. Hop to. All right, what's next? All right. Uh, number six. What were your favorite and most used pencils, supplies, or tools? All of them. They're all my babies. I love them. I will say that this year has been the year of the acrylic paint pen and not just a white one. I use those on everything. Um, I'm using my alcohol markers a lot more this year. But, yeah, my pencils are always going to be, like, my first love. They're everywhere. I always get more. 
I just got more. We have a Jerry's Artorama haul I got to show you soon. Um, that has two sets of pencils. <laughs> Technically three if Woody's counts as pencils, which they say they are pencil, crayon, somethings, I forget. Watercolors. Um, yeah, it's pencils. It's definitely pencils. And then everything else. I like my supplies. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I can't narrow it down. It's like asking me which one of my kids I like best. But we know the answer to that one. <laughs> it's the cat. My favorite kid is my cat. But regardless, yeah, I can't pick my supplies. They're all great. I love them all. Even my 54 cent pen and gear pencils from the Walmart. I love them. Number seven. Did you discover any new coloring channels? Okay, so anybody who's been here for a while knows that time is not a concept I really understand. Um, so That I is an understatement. I know. So I don't know when I started following these channels. And it, so I'm just shouting out channels that make me happy. How's that? Uh, I don't know if they're new. I don't. I know, like I know, at least two of them are not new. Um, but are they new to you? No, I knew they existed for quite a while. I think. See, I'm trying to help you out here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Time is a cons. What, what is it we were saying all like three summers? Ago? Time's a construct. It doesn't count. Like oh, it doesn't. Yeah. It does not matter. So it, it really is that way for me and for most of the people who live in my house or did live in my house at that time. Uh, we just don't believe in time, but. I have been addicted to Art Journey's channel, Lily over at Art Journey. If you don't follow her, I mean, she's a, got a large following already. It's not, so it's clearly not a new channel. And I think I was watching, I did watch her last year because I was in her marker challenge. Um, Johanna tagged me in a marker challenge that came, I think that's when I found her. So if you find my marker challenge video, that's the first time I watched Lily. I think that's over a year. So there we are. Um, there. Now I know how long that was, but Lily at Art Journey is hysterical. She's been doing a lot of unhauling videos, and then she did a haul video the other day. Uh, it, was, it was beautiful. It was just a moment, and I loved it. Um, and then Colorful Pirate doesn't post a lot, but she has the best hauls, so check her out. And Feral Shoujo also with the hauls. They're just chef's kiss. And then Sapphire Colors, I think, is new. All these people will be linked in the description box. But Sapphire Colors, I think, is new. And, oh my goodness, if you just want to see somebody, like, thinking outside of the box and coloring, go watch her. She um, adds, like, patterned paper to her pages for the backgrounds and, like, fussy cuts all around the images that are in the foreground she uses washi tapes in ways that I don't even know. She did a page in Critical Roles, the first coloring book, because they're both really new, but in the first book, and did it all in shades of blue, which was, like, not even what I would think for that picture. And it was, like, phenomenal. She just, I think her last video that I saw was um, How to Color White Flowers, and she colors them the same way I do, but hers, like, look good. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. Check her out. She like she caught me. She does a lot of coloring heaven magazines and she got me hooked on her when she was showing a finished pages video and was like, and this is some pattern paper I had and I cut out the background. I'm like, holy hell, like this is awesome. And I've watched all her videos since then. Um and she's also using my bookmarks now, so look for those in her videos because I'm you're not gonna be like gobsmacked by her coloring, then find my bookmarks, but She's amazing. And then not just coloring, but middle-aged geek girl does coloring, diamond painting, building blocks, cross stitch. She's irreverent. She's funny. Check her out. Um, she just does really cool stuff and she just makes me laugh. So check her out too. That's it. I'm done. I'm done naming channels. I think Sapphire Colors is the newest. She might be this year. Maybe. And if she's not and you don't know her, you should really go check her out anyway. Yeah. So that's it. That's all I got. So, uh, number eight. 
Did you try any new coloring techniques, or did you follow a color along? That's that is part two one. parts. No, that that's is part, part one. two right there. I don't do color alongs. Um, my attention span is really, really small. Yeah, well, you know, it's tiny. If I want to do something, then I could sit here and do it for twelve hours. But like a color along is either sped up, and I can't follow it because I just forget to that pause is an option i'm like I, it's in real time and i'm screwed it, it's all me it's like there's awesome color alongs out there and then like i tried to follow one of shell's coloring journeys that's another one that's new to me shell's coloring journey oh my goodness with her albrecht door pencil she needs to stop she's like everything she does is like perfect it's horrible it makes me feel so like bad when i watch her because i'm not good like, compared to her, we're not worthy. It's a Wayne's World moment. If you're old, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but she's awesome. Everything with her, Albert Durer's, and now she's got the Pablo's. I tried to follow one of her color alongs because I wanted to be like, look, Shell, I did your color along. And hers are real time. And then I just walked away in the middle of the video because it was like two and a half hours long. And I went and made a sandwich and came back and was like, why is this on? And then shut it off. Shell, it's nothing against you. It's just, I don't know. I do it with movies too. And they've got cinema, cinematographers and like people that like, you know, I should be gripped into the movie and I can't even follow. She is a three second goldfish in a four second bowl. Yes, that's exactly it. So I, I, you know, Shell, your, your videos are really cool. If I ever actually get to follow a color along, I'll do that. That's what I'll say. If I ever actually follow a color along, it will be one of Shell's. Because I look at them longingly all the time and I'm like, nah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I know better. That's why a lot of the times I just do it myself because I don't I don't have it. I don't have the, the staying power for a color along. Everyone follows like... Chris Chang and all these four and five hour color longs. Ah, spotless. Good for you. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, the first part of that, because I answered the second part first. Did you try any new coloring techniques? Oh, I mean, technically, no. I've always colored with alcohol markers. It was like one of my first mediums, but I've been making poet. Make poet, if you're watching, thank you. But... I've been making Poet <laughs> make me videos showing me how she colors with markers because she colors so good with them. And I practiced a lot and I've been practicing a lot all year. So I pulled a book out just to show like this was the very first time I was playing with my alcohol markers and feel like I channeled my inner Poet and did something that looked good. So again, Poet, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. You rock, girl. I'm so glad you showed me how to color with markers. And anybody else who figures that they don't know how to color with alcohol markers and blend and all that, then go check out her channel. Also listed below. Hers just stays listed below, to be honest. So her and Johanna are just always listed because I talk about them all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my answer oh, to no, that. Oh, no, I'm sure they hate that. I got really good at marker... Or, I got way better at markers because Poet is showing me how to do it. All right. Second part of the question. Did you take part in buddy colorings? Yeah. Again, Poet and Johanna are listed below because every month we have buddy colors. I looked... Girls, if you're, if you're watching this, do you realize that I save our pictures on my phone, which I can't show you because I'm filming with it. But, like, any page where, like, oh, we're going to color blah, blah, blah in Mythographic or whatever. And then we vote on it in our little group chat. And then we pick it. And then I screenshot it. And I write everybody's name from the buddy color. Whether it's Poet, Deb, and Johanna. Or just Poet and Deb. Or just Poet and Johanna. Or Johanna alone. Or whatever con like uh, configuration of people that are in that buddy color. I write it on the, the photo. And I put it in my phone. And just the other day, because I have two, I was going to say playlists, folders in my phone, pictures, that one is buddy colors, which is stuff I did with, and excuse me for the terminology, but people I don't know quite as well, I still consider you friends, like so others, and then the people I know who can put up with like the fact that I will not do something for over a long period of time. And, years sometimes. And they don't care if I finish my buddy color that month. 
those people go into what is affectionately learned termed long-term buddy colors think of like the long-term parking at the airport there's just a dusty picture in a folder on my phone and then there's the other ones that I need to finish this month so I go through this month's pictures and I finish them and sometimes another poet or Deb or Johanna picture will slide over to long term but I try to finish them in that month when we pick them and if they don't finish them they go to long term and if I finish all my short term buddy colors then I move into the long term buddy colors well I scrolled up by accident on one of the pictures and I don't know how everybody's phone works, but if the pictures are sitting open and you scroll up, it shows the date you screenshot it or took it or whatever. So girls, we have buddy colors that are over 15 months old. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and I don't know which part of us has finished those pictures. I, I haven't because they exist on my phone. But my God, they are like 15 months old. So yes, I do buddy colors. I do them immediately sometimes. And then like when we got Tropicoth, me, Poet, and Deb did like six pictures in a row. In like a, You were here for that, David. It was like a course of five days. We're just like, I'm going to color all the pictures. And then we'll pick something else. And for whatever reason, nobody will color it for like 15 months, girls. 15 months, that's all I'm saying. Yes, I like buddy colors. You've been called out. No, I think I'm calling Mia. I definitely have it on my phone. I don't know. Like, I know specifically there's pictures that Johanna has colored. I remember seeing them. They're on my phone as uncolored. I've seen... I know. I was talking about you, Oh, well, okay. Them. Oh, I think everybody's <laughs> called out because I think some of them have other ones they haven't colored. Entirely possible. I'm going to have to, like, come into our group chat and post every single picture <laughs> and be like, show me that you finished this. <laughs> and if none of us finishes, I think we should scrub it. Like, just, like, let go of it. Because there are over 32, I think, long-term body colors. And then Jackie F., my Australian Jackie, if you're watching, Mr. Stoats Hats has moved over there, too. I'm going to get to it, I promise you. But I think... <laughs> You and my friend Helen. Helen, you're in there. Um, it's Helen, Jackie, and then like the whole poet Johanna Deb issue of we have too many buddy colors. So are we at the bargaining stage or the denial stage? We're in the I got buddy colors stage. That's it. I got buddy colors. They'll happen, I promise. Okay. I've done that question because now I feel antsy and uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay. I don't stress over buddy colors. That's what I'm trying to say. They just accumulate and maybe get dusty. Like the 1976 Vega that you can find in pretty much any airport parking lot. Yes, and that you're building me a model of. I am, in fact, building a model of a 1976 Vega. Because I needed it. Uh-huh. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. That's a different topic. <laughs> <laughs> That could last for days if we start talking about this stupid car. So go on. Yeah. Number nine. Which is your most anticipated coloring book, which will be released in the second half of the year? Okay. So I had to go on Amazon to look up stuff because I couldn't remember what was in my wish list because my wish list is miles wide. Um, but uh, there's two. One, I'm very curious, uh, Small Victories is coming out by Johanna Basford, and she is one of my first, like, real adult coloring books since, like, the new trend of it, um, and I really just, I don't know, there's a soft spot, and she does too many flowers, but, like, I love her, so I'm gonna get it, and I'm curious about what it looks like. I want to know the size of the book since it's Small Victories. I want to know it's a small book. If it's, like, a, her regular sized square books and it's small victories so there's like 20 images on a page i don't know i'm gonna be so happy but i'll still own it but i will not be like as happy and then the absolute like i cannot wait is fabiana atanasio's new mythographic book fairy wonderlands like if you have her old books of the fairy tales like pinocchio and all those yeah her faces are adorable and they're gonna lend themselves so well two little fairies so i really want that book and just basically any mythographic that comes out you know I'm on that wagon i have to have it so that's my most anticipated basically is there a new coloring book out then yes i'm i'm anticipating it 
Okay. Let's be honest. <laughs> Do you have... Question number 10. Last one. Oh, Two good. parts. Okay. I'm ready. Do you have any regrets? Okay. So... <laughs> I'm trying. We went through this list of questions so that I could prepare, like, as in get my books together and do what I had to do. Um, sassy coloring, if you happen to be watching. This question is so vague. So I started making up the things that I regret and, you know, realized you probably meant coloring. But I regret that I don't have more cats. And I regret that the day isn't long enough to color more pictures. And I regret a bunch of other things I can't say on camera. Uh, but David and I had a very good, like, half hour long giggle over my regrets that I made up answering this question in my head or out loud to David, which is the same as being in my head. So that's why we both laughed. Um, <laughs> I have no coloring regrets. If I mess something up, which you've seen, I've done, is it a flop or not videos, uh, how coloring rescue videos, I've done all of those. Um, even if it's trash, I learned something. Like, don't color when I'm super tired. Uh, <laughs> just because you think it's a good idea doesn't always mean it is. Maybe wait till something dries and stop being impatient. Um, they're not regrets. They're learning, learning opportunities. Just because you can do a thing does not necessarily mean you should yes. do that thing. Yeah, I've had a lot of learning opportunities, not regrets. Uh, Sherry, I'm thinking about you and our Mandalas for Peace book, where wouldn't it be great if I just sprinkled ink over the background to make a background? No. If you take the ink right out of the bottle with a dropper and drip it onto Amazon printed paper, it bleeds through all your blotter pages and four pages behind it, and the page rips out of the book because it's too wet. So, learned experience. We paint on our droplets now and make it look like droplets, not actually drop stuff on the damn book. Learning experiences. Second half of the Wait, last question. You have to say, the more you know. Ring. Yeah, there we go. See? <laughs> All right. So, yes. Anyway, that I have no regrets. I have learned experiences. Yes. Sorry that my hand does not look like a star with a rainbow behind it. I'm more sad that you touched the camera than the rainbow but that's well, I mean, fine yeah I'm shaking yeah he's a voice actor folks so he doesn't understand that the camera's not allowed to move because there is no camera in his booth this is true I, I i don't have a camera in my booth because nobody wants to actually watch me that's why you're a voice actor yes yes <laughs> i i have a face made for radio i love this guy all right continue we sound like we're mean but we're not this is us being nice to each other you should hear what we sound like without you no. yeah. all right what's yeah. the next part of 10 yeah without fear of being demonetized it's not even demonetized it's like people just being like my god that's an abusive relationship uh-huh anyway what's the rest of number 10 any purchases that you would have rather not bought i mean probably like half of the stuff i own but like that is untrue. You literally sent me back to Walmart last <laughs> night at 10 o'clock to get a book that you specifically put back on the shelf. Yes, but do I wish I did that? I don't know. Maybe not. Like, <laughs> you could live without one book. I I was all proud of myself. You, you bought three. Put one back. Sounded like me being reasonable. And then I went back on my reasonableness anyway. Cost gas money and another book. I... I don't know. I don't think I have regrets on my purchases. I really don't. Like, I have said a million times, I have a line art museum, and if it gets colored, it gets colored, and if it doesn't, it's still artwork, and I'm supporting artists, small and large. Um, and supplies... I am obsessed. There's a, there's a whole video coming up on budget supplies, too. I'm obsessed with finding the most budget supplies possible. I've already mentioned my 54-cent box of colored pencils that surprisingly are amazing and then i found a 24 count for a dollar 97 of the same ones and brought them home and got 12 more colors and i'm gonna do a video on them because they're so good they're so good for such trash like literally you would think it was trash so i'm always gonna be a sucker for picking up like something that looks like you shouldn't buy it that's why she has me folks wow 
and and sometimes like it turns out to be like the coolest thing and then sometimes like david it's a complete bust you know you can't figure it out until you get it home (laughs) no all jokes aside seriously like i don't have regrets on anything i purchase or anything i color or any mistakes i make and i usually have that carries over into life too because it's too short for me to be like upset that i did something wrong like Eh. learning opportunity don't do that again i'm a fan of the words learning opportunities as opposed to oh my god what did i just do uh yeah and i I panic less on learning opportunities so i would like to once again thank grumble bunny and liz at home for tagging me in the mid-year adult coloring review tag you guys know i have all this written down right because there's no way i'm gonna remember these words twice um, and I also want to thank Sassy Coloring for adapting it to the coloring community from the BookTube community. And all the channels that I mentioned in the video will be linked down below in the description. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more rambling content like this. Or actually see me color something. And until next time, friends, have yourselves a very colorful day. Like and subscribe. Wow, threatening people. Okay, (laughs) we're going now. (laughs) Bye, guys. Love you.